Hey guys, welcome back to Nat One Videos. Today I was supposed to be showing you the footage and the tutorial for exactly how to make this little tree that I made in my diorama. Uh, the only problem was that after I uploaded the video of this onto YouTube, I got overexcited to create some more space on my hard drive and I just deleted all the footage. Uh, including that tutorial. So I was trying to be smart, trying to get two videos out of one and it didn't work. So I'm just going to, rather than show you exactly how I make this one, I'm going to make a whole brand new tree and do a tutorial on it. Um, and while I'm at it, I might as well make a piece of scattered terrain. I'm just going to make a small little uh, piece of scattered terrain with the tree, maybe some rocks and some bushes on. Okay, let's get started. You're going to need quite a bit of string. I'm going to go for a tray similar thickness to the one I made on my last build. So you're going to need quite a bit of string. I'm going to go for a tree that's probably about this height with all the branches. So I'm going to make all my strings bits the same length. And if I put my finger through the hole, I can make sure they're all the same length. Once you have your string all pretty much the same length, this is going to be the part that we are going to hot glue to a piece of cardboard and then that's where we're going to start twisting up the tree. Because the string and the cardboard, they don't cool down as quickly as some other surfaces, the hot glue probably will take a little bit of time to cool down. So you're just going to have to hold it in place for a little while, blow on it, etc. until it sets. So, so I like to push it down in kind of like this so that it spreads out a little bit because then whenever you twist it those things can uh, those string ends can lend themselves to some root base once it was holding enough i put it in the fridge so just to cool it down really really quickly and it's it's not holding to the cardboard really really well so yeah once it's kind of like this you want to just twist up your string so for this kind of tree, I'm going for quite a bendy old wizen tree. I might actually go for one with a bit of a kink in it this time. So uh, I am going to only twist, I'm only going to glue probably the bottom inch or so, let that dry and then I'm going to do the next section. So uh, Now whenever it comes to gluing, you want to get the glue not just on the outside but you want to get it on the inside of the string so they all stick together and it becomes really solid. So yeah, kind of like this. Okay, so now we're just going to wait until that dries enough to put into the fridge to cool it down. Okay, so the first little section I have put into the fridge again and you can see it's come out and it's pretty solid. Very solid. So, um, and already I've started it kinking off to a side. So we just do the exact same process until we get to a height that we want to start paring off the branches. But yeah, I'm just gonna maybe do a bit of a time lapse of this next little bit, show you the different sections. Here we go. So as you can see, I'm using my fingers, but the hot glue, I've let it cool down for few seconds before I use my fingers. If I was just to do it straight with the hot glue out of the gun, it would really burn. So be very, very careful whenever you're hot using your fingers with hot glue. This way of making trees is definitely a bit messy, but the pros to it is that you can pretty much shape the tree whatever way you want. Some people stick together twigs and other kind of things like that. But you know, if you really want to do something straight from your imagination, this is a great way to do it because you can get exactly the tree looking exactly the way you want. I might even bend it back a little bit more on itself now and it's just got this weird old windsep swept look to the tree. So I'm just gonna do the next section and it's just the exact same process. We're just gonna move it in the direction that we want. So I found whenever I made my first couple of trees, which hasn't been very many, I've only made about four now, um, that Doing this with the hot glue means that you get a better texture because um, sometimes the hot glue it like it's quite shiny and you don't want that shiny look so you do want this kind of more fibrous kind of look I don't mean um, with these little strings that are so annoying but you just keep patting it down 
Okay, straight out of the fridge and it is hard and solid. That's really, really quite a solid little trunk now. And at this height, I'm going to start uh, pairing off into branches. So I'm going to cut all the ends and then we just start doing the exact same process, but we want a little bit of glue in here at the base as well, just to keep the joints nice and solid. So. So there we go guys, really really happy with the shape of that so far. Once it gets painted it's going to look even better. Um, so yeah, just going to go ahead. First coat is Mod Podge, black paint with Mod Podge. ready for me to start fitting my little tree into my little piece of scattered terrain which has been painted and flocked. You can see how I do this process in the video that I posted on Monday which is called Complete Terrain Build for my miniature house diorama. There should be a little link at the top of the screen right now. We're going to cut off the, the base of this and try and cut off uh, any bits of hot glue and whatnot and obviously all of the cardboard. So this doesn't need two layers of cardboard. Get rid of all of that. Any bits that look a bit unnatural, cut them out. Okay, so that's gonna be the base of the tree. Right now it doesn't stand. It's gonna to have to be hot glued down to stand. So the reason why I haven't put my roots on until this point is because I don't wanna just, didn't wanna just put my roots on randomly and then not know where to fit them. I want to put them on deliberately. So let's see how the tree sits. And I think something like that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna do one root that comes down into that hole. One that hugs around the back of the, the rock here, one that comes over here, and the one that comes over the front. So that's four roots that I need to do for this tree. We're gonna do the same process with string. Okay, so I have the roots uh, in the rough place where I want them, and now I'm gonna modge podge and paint the tree uh, before I stick it all down, okay? Now we're ready to paint the tree. Um, I'm going to just do two colors for the tree. I'm gonna do burnt umber as the base coat and probably about 80% coverage, but I still want some of the black in the very dark areas to show through. And then after that, we'll do a tan kind of color, a lighter, much lighter brown, which we will get by mixing some titanium white in with the burnt umber. Okay, just adding a bit of titanium white so that I can get a very light brown going on to do my highlights. These highlights uh, are basically a mix of burnt umber and titanium white and we just want to get a nice light brown color like this and it's going to be very dry, dry brushing so it's better to get it really dry and then build it up as you need than uh, and putting on too much at the beginning, so I'm going to get my brush super, super dry. I'm going to glue this on to here, and then the last step will be to add our tree foliage. Okay, so this isn't uh, absolutely perfect uh, at the minute. I've got little tiny pieces of hot glue and stuff showing through. And what I would normally do is go around with some bark and put it in there and fix it up. 
like I did in my previous build, but I am running out of time of the evening. It is 1.30 at night and I wanna get this finished off. So I am going to just go ahead and I'm going to clump up my trees. The one good thing uh, about losing my footage uh, was that I had to make some more clump foliage and I'm much happier with this foliage. I'm gonna add some darker greens once it's on, but yep, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just apply this clump foliage. And there we go guys, uh, that is the finished tree. Um, I say finished when I'm looking through the camera here and I'm going, yep, yeah, I want to change the color of these, of this clump foliage a little bit. And there's a few bits that I did that were a little bit rushed, but in terms of the actual tree trunk and building out of string, I'm very, very happy with that tree trunk. Look at that, that is so cool. So yeah, you really have control um, with the string if you do it this way, and it's solid. So that's a proper little tree. So there's another piece of scattered terrain for my tabletop.